Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 22 of Darwell20's Let's Play of Mechanical Mastery. Today, uh, the plan is to get fissile fuel up and running, which is kind of backwards from how I usually do it. Um, usually, I would uh, get a reactor up and running and then start fueling it this time around, doing things a little differently. Um, I did get uh, this stuff up and running, which is cool. Got all the machines I need, I believe. Uh, I got all the quest machines, right? The ones the quest told me to do. Uh, I'm curious to see if it actually maps to how I usually generate fissile fuel, but we'll see. Um, so with that said, uh, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna get like an Uber reactor, right? I'm thinking like, like a max size reactor and steam turbine to just make like stupid, stupid amounts of power and hopefully a lot of waste as well. Um, now I'm looking through the recipes of things that I need to do. Uranium ingots I'll be able to get uh, from, from uranium ore, which is gonna be cool. Raw uranium does have an EMC value as we can see here. Uh, however, I'm noting that the other main ingredient, how about fluorite? Fluorite had uh, an EMC value as well. So we shouldn't be too bad on that. Unfortunately, uh, the, the, the last ingredient that we need, which is gonna be sulfur, I believe. Let's see, sulfur dioxide, liquid sulfur dioxide. There's no sneaky way to get that, right? No. Okay, um, pretty sure we're gonna need sulfur dust to make sulfur dioxide. And that one we sort of automated over here, right? Well, didn't one of these have sulfur dust in them? Somebody did. Somebody has sulfur somewhere. There he is. Yeah, we have sulfur being made, so that's cool. We might need to augment it with the mechanism form of sulfur, which we can get with a pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, coal, charcoal, oxygen, and water. That's, you know, about what we're looking for there. So uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to see how our sulfur holds up, like the sulfur we have. Now, as usual, I'm going to want to go, like, relatively far away from my main base only because if i mess up and make a nuclear accident i'm gonna need to be able to handle that so yeah i don't think so but i did get myself an angel block as you can see and then i'm gonna build and gadget my way into things let's also chunk align stuff so that we're like smart about things right that would be it would be smart to be smart i think um so let's do some more cobble do, 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 do. nice all right, um, and you can just get placed so that you're ready to copy it. Nice. Okay. Now, if I bumped you up, that wouldn't be too bad, right? Not too shabby. There you go. That's That's a nice chunk. Okay, I like that. And then we can ditch you and put you away. Sweet. All right, so I'm thinking what I'll do is probably, let's get you placed. And we're gonna need more of this, not a problem. I've got 400 million cobble, I think I should be fine. I can put you guys away for the time being, and I probably don't need the P2P stuff or this magmator, which I broke recently, uh, or this M interface. Perfect. I really like this rechiseled mod, mostly because it remembers the last thing you made. That's pretty cool. So I just have to pop open the uh, the UI there, and then like, boom, we're good, right? Not too shabby. All right. So now you've just got a little bit more to go. Is it one or two that I need to place there to be within the chunk? Yeah, we can get one more. I had a feeling it was two, right? Because I did two chunks. All right, so that would be one, two, three, four chunks over here. That might be pretty good. I might do one more just to be on the safe side. So we'll do this, we'll do this, that. Should be cool. Okay. And then you actually do have a little bit more room over here. Is that right? Yeah. I want I want as much as I can get chunk wise.
Because like I said, we're going to do max size reactors. It's been a while since I've done that, and I think that's my plan. Okay, cool. So now we can... Uh, we can we can see that we're in pretty good shape here right so let's get ready to start building what i'm going to do is have um my my fissile fuel produced here and i'll and i'll be making what i need to make uh right here so i'll make my coal for the sulfur i'll make the uranium i'll make the fluorite all here and process it here then uh once we have the the fissile fuel production up and running and we have a decent amount of storage for everything what i'd like to do is work on the reactor because like I said I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of plutonium or polonium in the future so having a reactor up and running that's already good to go to make us a bunch of stuff while we're progressing through the pack I think is a smart play so let me uh get ready to put this stuff together what I'm going to want to do uh is I probably wouldn't mind having mechanism um do I have these guys programmed cables uh I have elite I do have ultimate universal cables. Cool. Give me like a hundred of those, please. Because I would like to move up to the ultimate tier right now. And then what else will I want? Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. I'll start I'll start building. So I'll come back in a sec and we'll get this ready to go. Alright, so let's be a little smart about this, right? So I want to... Um, I'm thinking in this chunk is where I'm going to want it to be. I don't know why, but my brain says put it over here. So I'm listening to my brain. Um, let's get those ultimate cables here. And we will start running them. So I know I need roughly this-ish. And we'll get a flux point ready for when the time comes. Because we're definitely going to want one of them. And as I recall, we generally speaking want something like, like this. Don't we want... Yeah, that's not what I want there. These guys can go away for a minute. I don't need any AE stuff. Um... I think what we want is, so reminder, what we're working towards here is fissile fuel, which is made in isotropic centrifuge, and then we have uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid, right? So this is your isotropic centrifuge. Are there backpacks in this pack or, or sleeping bags? Oh, good, there are white sleeping bags. Sweet. So I can pass the night while I'm over here. Okay, so there's your isotropic centrifuge, right? So that's going to be your fissile fuel. Uranium hexafluoride is a chemical infuser, which we should have one of. And that'll sit there. Cool. I should throw a feral flare lantern over here, shouldn't I? Yeah, we should do that. Oh, good, it's raining. I might clip the rain. How about I do that? Where's that... Where's that no rain? Banish the moon. So that should have... Nice. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Let's put you, like, relatively in the center. -ish. Obviously, I won't be able to perfect center it, but somewhere like there. Okay. So uranium hexafluoride done. Uranium oxide is a chemical oxidizer. And then uranium oxide is made in an enrichment chamber. Cool. And then the enrichment chamber needs uranium ingots. Now, we're probably going to want to be smart about how we make these things, right? So let's see, what are my options here for making this? Um, we could just smelt them, and that would be a one-to-one, -one, obviously, and that would be inefficient from an EMC perspective, but easy from a machining perspective. Or we could do the whole production line thing, which, you know, meh. What are my other options for smelting this up? Uh, uranium dust from mechanism. Crushed raw uranium. Yeah, I think our best bet would probably be to be the whole production line, which I'm not quite ready to get into yet. I do, like I said, want to at some point do this overhaul the ore processing thing and do this. Like, I think that would be kind of fun to set up, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Technically, I'm at the point, I guess, 
I guess technically I could do a lot of this, right? Um, but I'm not going to do it yet. What I'm going to do is I'll just stick uh, a smelter, right? And uh, uh, an energized smelter. I'm going to stick that on the side here and have it just smelting uranium for us. And then at some point in the future, I'll create the whole production line, which will get me massive, you know, duplication of ores. And then we'll start replacing certain things around the base like uranium production, because that's obviously going to be very expensive, right? Uh, so then from project, whatchamacallit, uh, let's get some tier three EMC links because they shouldn't be too bad to get, right? Yeah, we just need regular mechanical essences, which ain't terrible. And tier threes can do four items per second, so that should be cool, right? Then we get uranium, which I did teach the EMC of, so boom. Oh, and because you can auto pull into the adjacent, we will have to do some kind of piping, right? So let's get a logistical transporter of some sort and good to go. Cool. So now you should be there, and then your sidedness is such that you will be a back input and a left output. Cool. Let's get that flux point set up so that we're ready for this big bad boy. Okay. So you're going to slowly but surely make uranium. Your sidedness will be that you input here and output there with auto eject. So now you're going to make yellow cake. Your sidedness will be that you input output. Right. And we'll put the speed upgrades and all the tier upgrade stuff in there eventually. Cool. So now we're uh, sidedness will be uh, you can input on two. That's fine. Right. I just need you to auto eject. And then um, you can auto eject on from, to the front. Right. So now you're accumulating. All right, this is gases. Uh, this should also be input to orange. Uh, this is gases needs to auto eject on to the left. Now you should be getting that. Sweet. All right, so hydrofluoric acid is a chemical dissolution chamber, which would be this guy. And you're going to be configured for items. I want you to come in the back. Uh, for gases, yeah, output on the right. Perfect. Cool. Because the chemical dissolution chamber needs fluorite. Now, fluorite uh, can be made in an enrichment chamber. Is that about it? That's okay. Yeah, enrichment chamber. Uh, I don't know if we have an extra enrichment chamber over here, but we should be able to make one because I think I taught this guy how to make all the things. Cool. Okay, and then you uh, will, let's say, input on the back, push to the right. And we'll do the same thing here with fluorite. Perfect. Okay, so now you're going to get that, and you're going to start processing it and dump it into there. Cool. All right, then... We're going to want sulfuric acid, which is a chemical infuser. Hello, friends. It would look like good times were happening here. Uh, quickly napping. Gonna need another feral flare lantern, I think. Yeah, a mm -hmm. little bit. Might as well keep it chunk aligned. Is that cool? You guys are good here though, right? Yes. Just over here, that was a troublemaker, which is getting better now. You almost made me not kill that creeper. Yeah. All right, back to work. So that should be a little better now. Ah. 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 
All the drops. Oh, I dropped the mech of the machine. Whoops. I think that was you. All right, now, uh, sulfuric acid is going to be a chemical infuser with sulfur trioxide and water vapor, right? So that would be you. And I would like you to have gases come in the back for input two. Is that right? Yeah. And then we want a rotary condensator. And you're going to uh, accept. Let's say fluids can come in the top, and I want you to output to the right for gases. That should be cool. Okay. And then let's get a tank. Sweet. I feel like you didn't recognize that as being completed for whatever reason. That's okay. Uh, and a basic fluid tank here. And like we've done before, uh, your job will be to empty this guy. And then we can get some mechanical pipes, which I apparently don't have more of, but that's okay. And if we need there to be more of that, that's fine, right? And then just change this direction. And now we should be getting water vapor into here. Perfect. So that's water vapor covered. And then you need sulfur trioxide. Right now, remember, we can get this like a really, 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 really small amount from sulfur dust, but like it's a huge no no, like it just there's no reason to go, to go that route. Uh, so, uh, sulfuric acid will be sulfur trioxide, which is a chemical infuser, Oop. which needs um, sulfur dioxide and oxygen. Right, so you're going to need to be an electrolytic separator. And your job for side config gases will be to output oxygen to the right. You're never going to output your hydrogen. And you're going to dump excess on hydrogen. Cool. And you guys need power, by the way. Let's not forget about that. Cool. So now you're getting oxygen. And you, for gases will input on orange does that sound right yeah i'll put i'll put well oxygen technically goes on the left i don't think it matters for real but yeah so gases we will input red so there's your oxygen coming in cool and then finally sulfur dioxide is the chemical oxidizer okay and you will um say for gases on the left will be orange and then output to the right for gases, because that's what has to go over here. Cool. Now you need to get sulfur dust, and that's where a little bit of the trick's gonna come in, right? So we could get some sulfur dust. We have a lot of sulfur, but I don't think that's gonna last all that long. I remember, I remember you need a lot of sulfur, right? So let's just test this setup to make sure everything's behaving, right? Sulfur dust goes in, and then we should be getting, with this sulfur dust addition, we should be good to go now, right? You're making your, your sulfur trioxide, your side config for gases, your input two, you need to be input one, and you can be outputting. So then you're getting sulfuric acid, you're getting that stuff, you're gonna start making, and then we've got fissile fuel, huzzah, we've done it, okay. So now I just need to get and figure out how I'm going to make copious amounts of sulfur dust. I'm thinking I'm going to go this route. We can take um, some more oxygen, right? We'll make another rotary condensator or, or another electrolytic separator. We'll have a dedicated oxygen guy for this. That, that, that should be cool. I think we can do that. Maybe we can make another one of you. Right? Um, and then we just need water, which is easy, it's right there, oxygen, which we're going to get from the same water, and, uh, and some form of coal. Okay, so you're going to sit here, and then your items input will be on the back, right? So item input on the back. 
and you're going to do, for this guy, you're going to need a chemical, no, you're going to need a pressurized reaction chamber. Shouldn't be too hard to get. There you go. Okay. Now you're making oxygen, but I feel like you're Rob, I might be able to share this guy. You think I'll be able to share him? Because what we could do is we could say, um, no, you're the electrolytic separator. Let's hold off on that. We may not need him. Because you're going to want, uh, let's clear everything for a sec. That's fine. You can input on all sides there. So if I told you, you're outputting oxygen to the right for gases. What if I told you to also output to the front for gases and output two? And then we got you some speed and energy upgrades just to make sure that you're running fast enough. You're gonna fill up with oxygen, right? And that's what we need there. And whether that's enough oxygen for both machines, we will find out, right? And then uh, mechanical pipe can chill there Okay, now all we have to do is feed coal into him, and we should be good. Coal or charcoal, for that matter, right? Because he this can happen with charcoal. So if I wanted coal ore, that would be 128 EMC. If I wanted oak, that would be 32. So unless I'm 4Xing the coal, which I probably won't, I think oak is the better way to go here, right? So let's do... Um, Let's do a thermal smelter, right? Do we have one of those auto craftable? Redstone furnace, yes. Wait, let's do that with oak and some augments. Okay, so your side config for items you'll input there. Universal cable, this dude, this. Input, output, boom, boom, and good to go. So now we just speed this bad boy up, and we should be producing a decent amount of this stuff. Okay, let's put this away. And I know I can put a gas upgrade in something. I always, I always forget what, but I know the option is there. So let's see, so now you're making lots of sulfur dust and you should be accepting items from the back. You should be auto ejecting to the right and that should be cool. So that should be a pretty steady amount of sulfur. We'll see if it's enough to keep everything, you know, fully running. Um, let's see, where's this gas upgrade go again? It might be the dissolution chamber that gets a gas upgrade get a gas upgrade? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's the dissolution chamber that gets it. Yep, that's about it. All right, cool. And then let's get uh, 80 energies and 80 speeds. That should be pretty good. All right, so you're nice and sped up. You should be cool. You're going to need some speeding up, I think. No, you're actually good. Yeah, we're just waiting for more of this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, you have hydrogen burning. Um, I could probably just void that, right, if we got a mechanism gas tank. We'll just have you dump out to the front. So gases can output to the front, and you'll just uh, dump excess, right? So you're breaking even in terms of speed here, and you're keeping up just fine. I think you are. You're actually breaking even too in terms of speed. So I think, I think this line is actually nearly perfect. He might be a little bit behind. He might be a little bit behind. It looks like we have a minor net loss here. But if I replace you with this, that should be a little bit of a net gain, right? 
So that works for me. And then you're kind of breaking even. You're building up your sulfur trioxide, which is good. Now, I still have to put my these guys in, right? So let's make sure that you're all good. So you're already upgraded. You could probably use an upgrade. You should already be upgraded. You could use an upgrade. Okay. There you go. Now everybody's nice and quick. Now I might wind up, you know, I could turn this, but I'm, we'll see what happens. But I might need them to go into, you know. Everybody's good now? Pretty good, yeah. We'll see how long it takes for you to build up a backlog, but you're doing all right. You're doing all right, chemical oxidizer. So we're not obviously using any of this fissile fuel yet. Um, this can go into just a regular tank, can't it? Uh, I want to say yes. I don't think fissile fuel is radioactive, right? Um, waste is though, right? Does it tell me on the tooltip? Yeah, radioactivity. So these things are radioactive. Okay. Uh, nuclear waste, plutonium, polonium, spent nuclear waste. Those are your radioactive things. So I'm pretty sure that means that tank-wise, we should be cool for fissile fuel. But that's a fissile fuel production line using pretty much all EMC. Once we start storing more of it, we'll have a better idea if uh, if if we've if we've got the right ratios of stuff, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to store a bunch of it right now, and then we're going to see where our bottleneck in resource production is. So if I get one of you, right, you're on your way, possibly. Yep. Okay, so then we'll see what we start losing out on, right? Like, how are we doing on sulfur dioxide? Are we net lossing it? Maybe. Maybe not. We seem to be doing okay. Power is a problem. Yeah, power is probably going to be a problem. I can see power being a problem for you guys. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to maintain this power. Yeah. That's okay, though. We'll figure that out probably after we get better power gen happening. Uh, so then we want to make sure that we're not completely decimating this power, you know, maker here. Uh, which we will be if we leave that whole thing running. Um, so we can, we can bypass the limit on you, even though I don't think we're anywhere near 800,000. Because your, your max, your max output on this energy cube is not great. I could probably upgrade him though, right? I think so. Oh, CPUs are offline. <laughs> well, yeah, that, I could see that being a problem. You guys do function, right? Uh, yeah, but you need uh, upgrades. Really dire. We're getting upgrades. Okay. So then you... Yeah, I think it's probably not going to work out. So let's see. Hold on. I can do this. Uh, mechanism cube. So if I did this... Now you're ready. Now we can swap you. Cool. 
And at least now you have a slightly better input output rate, right? 102,000 RF a tick, which I'm going to wager is probably still not enough for what I need over here. But I guess we could test it and find out. Hey, where's your power? Exceptional question. Did you forget your sidedness when I upgraded you? You may have. Right? Uh, so what you want is output on all sides, but input on the back, right? Cool. And now you're outputting. So you're doing 100,000 RF a tick, right? But we're also refilling the buffers of power for a lot of things. Mostly it's this guy, if I remember correctly, that drains a lot. Yeah, he needs like 200 and something thousand. Most everybody else should be full. It should be nice. All right. So we'll figure out where our bottlenecks are shortly. Uh, I think the next big task then will be... Because we want to produce a huge amount of resources, we're going to need a huge amount of power. And our gas generator is just not going to be able to maintain that. And we obviously want to have uh, other stuff. But we also probably want a really large battery that can transmit a lot of energy. So I'm thinking we're going to need to do the, the mechanism uh, energy cube thing. Right? Uh, so let's see where we're at. We're right at wrapping up point, so that's probably good timing. So what I'm going to do is between episodes, I'm going to program the AE system for all the machines for uh, mechanism, right? So like all these dudes and all these dudes, right? And then I will build next episode a really large multi-block reactor. Uh, then we'll also need to get the energy storage thing so we can have large amounts of... Uh, transfer speed and energy storage then we'll move into this bit and this stuff should be relatively easy comparatively and it shouldn't be too hard to break into the next tier of stuff once we've got that like we could probably do it in the next episode or two but i want to do this because like i said i'm suspecting when we get to end game we're gonna need some fissile fuel or something right like antimatter is clearly a thing that we're gonna need some of um and it looks like final stars need a healthy amount of antimatter so yeah we're gonna want to be uh we're gonna want to be going there and then that's how we get into creative stuff cool all right for now though, will sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode oh we can get creative blaze cakes that'll be pretty nice oh my goodness look at all that a hundred times wow okay should be fun though right should be fun to set up all right for now Delta 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode you know what to do take it easy